target but can't get his header right. It's a good turn by Graham. Kirk's there. Vyadinovic at the expense of a corner kick again. Aberdeen are looking shaky. Really good movement from Kirk. Because it's Graham that comes in the pitch and then Kirk just says, well, I'll fill your space. And he just runs into that channel. It's a lovely diagonal ball from Graham and Kirk gets across, but again, blocked away uh, for the corner. Good defender from Aberdeen. Rukovic. Aberdeen managed to put enough pressure on Kevin Rukovic. Sander Diamond's been taken out of the game by Alec Keddy. Just when Xander Diamond was delighted he wasn't facing Gary Hooper this afternoon, he runs into Alec Keddy. No complaints from Xander Diamond, up and got on with it, that's what it's all about. Eight years since his debut for Aberdeen, Xander Diamond just about. Maguire, space to work in. Young for support. Maguire in towards Vernon. There's a couple of those now, Vernon. You got that one on target at least that time. Just didn't have the power to beat Kyle Allison. It's definitely the area, Liam. And you just see Maguire. Uh, this is eventually the cross, but the area drops into his right hand side, but can't get out to him. He eventually puts in the cross. Vernon, again, in a good area, can't get enough power on it or direct away from the goalkeeper, but exactly what Aberdeen are looking for. The width and the channels is certainly the areas Aberdeen have to exploit. Maguire. Partly. Young. Vernon. And Blackman. Oh, well, Wood's got it away. Maguire couldn't control. I saw the game of the quarter-finals, Billy, two seasons ago between these two, and this, so far, the opening 26, 27 minutes has followed a similar pattern. Well, I heard the boys in the studio, Jimmy and Jack, and they're talking about it, get through the first 20, 25 minutes in this game, and you might just turn those Aberdeen fans against their team and frustrate them, and that's exactly what's happened. They're firm enough start to well. Aberdeen edging into it now, realising where they have to play and how quickly they have to play, get the tempo up and start to get there, but Dunfermline will be delighted with their start. Hartley. Maguire always an option out there. Overlap from Mikardo. Young. And he makes it for company, that's good play from Derek Young. Did it young right to expect someone to attack that ball there, Billy? I think he was I think he blasted it across too quick. I don't think anybody could support him after winning the tackle. I think it's Gary Mason caught in the ball. That can't happen. He's back there defending, just clear it out, ask questions later, but Young does well, blast it across, Vernon can't react. Vernon's got no chance of getting onto that, has he? Glad you spotted it, Liam. Derek Young's done well since he's come on. Really well, nice back heel. Robin Mason there as well, good. And then setting up a chance. Andy Kirk and Nikola Vyadinovic will be spoken to by the ref. Vyadinovic is just now. Kirk, I'm sure, will be called over. He is as well. Bit of afters between the two. Take a chance if you do that. I'm not saying it's a sending off, but you throw your head towards something, it doesn't matter where it is, whether it's in the face, in the chest, certainly taking a chance, but it's been a low key start to the game for both teams, but shows you how much they're up for it.
Cardell. Young rolls it away from him. Cardell to Clark. As well to keep a hold of possession. Had to go back to go forward there, but he did well, Pat Clark. McCann. Kirk to Burke. Challenge from Vriadinovic. Partly wins it back for Aberdeen. From Burke, and now it's Blackman. Doesn't see much of the ball. Jack. Diamond's looking for Vernon. Blackman. And Jack available. Smith. Drop to Hartley. Jack against Mason. It's easy for Rukovic. Smith, no foul against Kirk. He wanted the free kick. He's not getting it. Blackman. And Maguire didn't mean it. Cardell in low. It's a poor ball. Still, it's with Aberdeen. It's Maguire. Well, corner's been prevented, those in the main stand on the far side. Appeal that had crossed the line. It's not been a game so far. I think a situation now, Liam, where a guy who's come up loan from Blackburn Rovers at Motherwell, out and out striker, scoring goals for fun, suddenly comes to Aberdeen and um, Against Celtic during the week there, he's moved to the left, he had to again at half-time, Chris Maguire going through the middle, and he's had, he's, he's had to move to the left-hand side again, so that's all credit to Dunfermline. Scored 10 at Motherwell, Nick Blackman on loan in the first half of the season, he's off the mark for Aberdeen, scored up in Inverness. Maguire couldn't find Hartley. Snubbed at a turn to Fir Park to join up with Craig Brown again here at Pitodry. He gets his goal at Inverness by being in the box, stabbing at home with his. He's not in any situation like that today. And I think as a striker, a former striker myself, you start to get frustrated when you're pulled out of position. You want to get there, you want to score goals. He's making a name for himself at Motherwell. And I'm sure he'll make a name for himself here, but he's just finding himself dragged out of position in the last couple of games. Jack. Vernon tried to tee up Maguire. It's an awkward bouncing ball for Vyadinovic to deal with there. Kind of to be careful, it's worked out okay. We'll see him enter. Continued his run. Stevie Smith, loads of space. Woods try to close it down. Jack, good skill from him. Oh, it's a decent effort as well from Ryan Jack. He's got a cracker up in Inverness ten days ago. It's really good from the young lad because he, he has a build up the play, pass it out to Stevie Smith, gets it back, and then. You can see it just shifts it from right to left past Pat Clark, too easy from a Dunfermline point of view. And strikes a good shot on target. McArdle just missed out on a place in the Northern Ireland squad for the Carling Nations Cup, which is up and coming this midweek. A 
Northern Irish, of course, playing Scotland on Wednesday. There's another Northern Irish winning Andy Kirk. Just over 10 to go until half time. No goals and a couple of saves from Jamie Langfield and Kyle Allison up the other end. Most recently from Ryan Jack. Almost dropped there to Kirk, he had to do it on the turn. And there's another corner kick for Dunfermline Athletic. Well, Aberdeen defenders are hanging about again, and you see Kirk Budjadinovic on him, but the reactions are better from the Dunfermline players. Kirk's expecting the ball to drop in the box here, Budjadinovic is not, he's expecting his defender to go and win it, Kirk peels off him, yeah, he hooks it, eventually goes for the corner, but certainly Dunfermline front men reacted better than Aberdeen defenders. Aberdeen will face another Cardo corner, Clark tried to flick it onward. Wire looking for Smith and himself on the right. No handball against Vyadinovic, despite the claims. Pocketing Paul Hartley. One one it was at East End Park two seasons ago. It was nil nil after the 90 minutes and after extra time before Dunfermline won the penalty shootout 4-2. I think that sums up Aberdeen's display so far. Even though Dunfermline have done well, I think too slow on the ball. Pretty pedestrian to be honest with you. I think we know the areas it's going to hurt. Dunfermline, it's either side of Mason and Buck, but they've not shifted the ball nearly enough. Maguire's had a couple of crosses, Stevie Smith's been up support once or twice, but if they shift it and get it into those wide areas, no problem at all, but really pedestrian so far in this first half from Aberdeen. Callum Woods, of course, was the controversial figure last season, Dunfermline. Almost thrown out of the cup. Result of the registration. I spoke to Jim McIntyre this morning and yeah. he was telling me it was total concentration <laughs> in those team sheets today. It was against Stenhouse Muir. Game was replayed. Kirk chasing that one down. Gone out. Burt there, he's a 19 year old when he won the cup with Kilmarnock. Young. Graham's tracked back well so far for Dunfermline though. McArdle. Looking for Maguire, he's putting the pressure on Keddie. He'll keep it out to look lively. Day of frustration so far for Chris Maguire. And indeed, those who are up there with him. Need a seat, the old boys. <laughs> Look at them there, taking a little rest. Archie Knox there when he was here the last time with Sir Alec Ferguson. The Scottish Cup practically lived here 
and eighties, three times in a row, of course. movement from the Dunfermline four we were talking about before the game it's not just been stay of positions and two wide men and one off the front it's like if Kip goes wider drifts Cardo gets up and fills it Pat Clark gets in from a side and fills the centre forward row or vice versa and the movement's been really good as well as the work rate from the four of them final five minutes of the first half McCann with a free kick Graham, but free kick to Aberdeen. It was delivered there. Willie Coleman wasn't happy. Saint Mirren await the winners of this one in the quarterfinals. Rukovic. Ricardo. There's that little area again, Derek Young pulling in just to that left side of Alec Buck. Again, the delivery's not good enough for Aberdeen. Ricardo. Straight to McCann, Aberdeen still have it, Blackman. Try to roll it through to Paul Hartley. No real quality in the final third so far for the home team. from Nick Blackman. Kirk. I think you look at that possession Liam. 53-47 pretty much sums it up and Aberdeen not certainly running away with this and um, confirming right in this match. And it's been even Steven so far. Paul Hartley struggled in the midfield so far today. Clark. Saw the pound signs, Pat Clark. A little nick off Xander Diamond on its way through. immediately under pressure from Jack. It's a bit too much of Cardo that time. Confirming I've been to a couple of cup finals since Aberdeen were last there. 2000 Scottish Cup finals, the last time Aberdeen won in any final. Last time they won, it was 10 years before that. to separate the two teams at the moment. Good play by Cardo. In a second go at it. And that's Langfield. There'll be one minute of injury time added on at the end of the first half. play on. I can Red Maguire though. Not too much there on the pass and now Derek Young comes away for the Dons. And he was caught but no free kick. Both teams had reasons for grievance there they feel. It's in that last phase of play. I think Young's got a case when you see it was good tracking back from Graham. 
He's filling that role again, realising his team's been caught in a break, not just staying up there as a front man, getting back, but I think that's a free kick. I think Young gets a, a strike in if he doesn't tackle him. He takes a bit of Young first, and I think they're a little bit unlucky there, Aberdeen. Jim McIntyre must be delighted with this. It's almost a rerun of the last time he was here. David Graham should he be okay? He's taking a sore one. Oh, it's Maguire. Well, that may well have been goal bound. He certainly thinks it was, as it was blocked. Looks looking for Kirk. Stuck his own player, Liam. Aberdeen trying to finish the first half strongly. Rory McArdle. Young in the overlap. Looks for Maguire. And they try to find Vernon. Aberdeen will have a late corner kick to try and get their noses in front before the break. You can see my arms when they shift the ball quickly. That's him breaking up an attack. Young into Maguire. Quick break turn. Not enough in the box again, but certainly the tempo they're going to have to play out if they're going to break down this Dunfermline defence. Stevie Smith has trotted over to take it. It'll be the in swinger. Yeah. And Dunfermline I'm trying to get David Graham back on before the corner. Is it going to happen? Smith in. And headed over and wide by Scott Vernon. As the half time whistle goes here at Pitodri. And that header from Scott Vernon pretty much sums up the first half here. Nothing really between the two sides as the first half wore on. Aberdeen began to seize the initiative, but Jim McIntyre's done Fairman. I put up a good show so far. Craig Brown, a bit of talking to do at the break. He lost Rob Milsom early on, which didn't help him. But at half time here at Petaudry Stadium, it's Aberdeen nil and Fairman nil.